Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, there are times when I go to my studio and I just, I can't make myself pour out paint and play in my journal or play on a canvas. Sometimes I'm just not in a creative mood and I just, I, I find that I still need to be in the space and um, be creative. So I like to change things up and I thought that would be a great thing for us to do today is just kind of change things around a little bit. So um, I thought it would be fun to, in continuing our um, like paper making, I'm gonna, um, we did a video on jelly printing or gel printing. And so I will remember to have someone link that somewhere. And then um, we did one on painting papers. Um, so this next one I thought is kind of fun um, is water marbling or paper, water marbling on paper. And so I thought that would be kind of fun for us to do today. Um, I am going to be using, and these guys are just the Marabou um, Easy Marble. And they're, the name is exactly what it says because this is super easy. There is no mixing. It's literally your water, the easy marble, and your paper. And for the paper, I'm going to be using a variety of papers just because I want to see what these can do um, and what type of effect they have on different papers. So I'm using this Jerry's Colossal um, sketch pad. I am going to be using some random dictionary pages and I even gessoed one because I want to see the difference between the two surfaces. So I've just got a, a bunch of just random pieces of paper that I want to try to marble so that we can use these as ephemera in our journals. So I would love for you guys to either A, watch your long or, um, or, or play, but we'll have all of the supplies that I'm going to be using today listed down below. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take clean water, just regular tap water, and I'm gonna pour it in the bottom of this um, butcher tray. Um, I like to use some sort of a shallow dish that's a little bit larger than um, the size of my paper so that I don't have to do anything um, weird or try to get things at a certain angle. So this tray fits my paper perfectly. And I believe it's like an 11 by 14-ish and my paper is nine by 12. Um, so I'm just gonna fill the bottom of this um, butcher's tray with um, some water. And it doesn't have to be completely full. I just want the, um, the bottom of the tray covered. And then we kind of start playing. So I like the arrangement of colors that they come in. There's, there's a bunch of different colors. I just kind of grabbed my favorites and it's almost as though you're like a mad scientist when you start to do this because immediately after you do one you think about like okay what about some different colors for another one so without any rhyme or reason we're just going to play around with mixing some colors i'm just gonna shake in some of this pink and it's kind of nice that it's like the reds and yellows and pinks are over this side and the blues and greens and purples are on that side. And um, maybe we'll just hop between the two. I'm kind of, the beautiful part of this is that um, it kind of, once you sprinkle it down, it kind of goes about its own way and does its own thing, which to me is fine. Like I, the one thing that I love about this is that I really can't control the results. I just kind of do it and then it kind of does its own thing. So I'm just gonna add a couple more drops and then one more drop. And I'm gonna take this um, sheet of sketch paper and I'm literally just gonna lay it down slightly on the top and try to get my finger under there and lift it. And this is what you get. What's so simple about it is, I'm gonna sit that off to the side. 
I never clean my water after, I just kind of keep going. Now you'll notice on this one, and I'm gonna bring this back for a second because it doesn't take it long to dry. When I dripped drops, I, I left everything to the center. So that kind of made this bullseye effect. But for this next one, let's just kind of, I don't know, let's just go ham and see what happens when, if I just kind of like randomly splash around. So I'm gonna, move over to my blues and greens and purples and let's just see what happens. I'm not really paying attention as to keeping it like a bullseye or one in the center. I'm just kind of randomly splashing things around. Um, I'm already seeing a really cool pattern. So hold. And let's just see. And here's what I love. It picked up the excess, um, the reds and the yellows that I left over there. Um, and these are just kind of cool. So um, I'm gonna keep playing. Okay, that was a lot, but it's okay. It's all right, we, we, we're just playing. <sighs> I did not mean to sigh out loud. I'm sad I was thinking about drone girl. I sighed out loud. Hey, Katie, do you by chance have any of these over there in your arsenal? Mm -hmm. Because you wouldn't by chance have a white, would you? I wanna see what happens if I use um, dictionary paper. And, um, cause I think it'll be cool as a lot of these colors here are pretty transparent. So I wanna see what happens um, or how cool it would look over words. Now this one has been gessoed. So let's just see if I pick up that side and I'm gonna get a piece of dictionary paper. I'm throwing things that has not been gessoed and put it over here. Oh, I left a cool part in the center. And let's just see. Okay, so there's half. I'm making a mess. I drowned the paper. Oh, okay. All right, so this is kind of, I'm just gonna keep playing.
Okay. Um, this was a lot of fun. And there's a couple of things that as I was playing around, um, I noticed. One is that it's probably a good idea to wear some gloves because um, I kept getting my hands in my tray by accident. Um, but number two, it lit like the name is correct. It's, it's very, very easy. It's just shaking it down, putting your paper on top, and out comes some amazing um, marble paper. I did find like a coffee stirrer, um, and as soon as you put it down, you can kind of manipulate the um, marbling effect if you um, use this pretty quickly. Otherwise, it kind of all drags together. Um, but I've, I've had a lot of fun and I feel like I've been a, um, a mad scientist today. And I've created for myself a bunch of really cool papers that now I can use um, in my journals as ephemera. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little art play today. It's it's something totally different than what I usually do. Um, but that is also good. It's just like a nice change of pace. It's very refreshing. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have marbled paper or you watched this and you've marbled along with me, I would love for you to show me what you've made. Um, on Instagram if you'll use the hashtag Mixed Media Monday um, and make sure to tag Jerry's Artorama as well as Ophelia's Art Studio. All the supplies we've used are going to be down in the description box and thank you guys so very much for watching. Bye! Yeah, I'm not I'm not in a good mood today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you're trying your best to make me laugh and it's not working.